Now when you open Premiere Pro, you're going to go up top to your Windows category, Extensions, CinePunch. So when you first launch the extension, you are going to get a pop-up that asks for you to choose folder for videos. I'm going to use my CinePunch folder and I'm going to store all my downloads into the CinePunch folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call this CinePack Elements Downloads. And this is where all my downloads from the extension are going to go to. And now we can just hit the save button. And here we can start to browse all the cine packs in our extension. And you can see you get a preview thumbnail. So if I go to any of these packs, I can just play to get a preview of what that element's going to look like. And then over to the right here, I can hit this little download button and download a variety resolution. So if I download this 4K, we're going to see it starts downloading. And once the element is done downloading, it's going to import and inject at the beginning of the playhead in your timeline on top of your shot. So I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. And then we can just start to browse and build. And again, with elements, it's all about blending modes. So if I go into my effects control panel, I can just change the blending mode here to add and then just bring the opacity down on the element. So you can see you start to get this nice light texture over the shot. You can always get a preview of all the downloads from your extension and you can also change the folder to where the downloads go. So if I go into the bottom right hand corner here in my extension, first I can see all the downloads that have taken place for the extension. And if I again go back, I can change the downloads folder. So I did want to mention that you can always switch. I think it's a good idea to actually have the scale to frame size checked on automatically. So if I go up top to Premiere and I go to my preferences, and now if I go down to my media category, up top here where it says default media scaling, I want to change that to scale to frame size. And that way the shots will scale to fit the timeline for the most part. We might need to do a little modification, but I think this is a good option to have on. So now I'm going to go back to the extension, check out some dust. And again, I just want to take my playhead and I'm going to set it back a little bit. going to download this element and again you're going to see it's going to go at the beginning of the playhead and now again we're just going to have to scale this out a little bit in this case I'm just going to scale it up like this And then I'm just going to change the blending mode to add. And then again, just go to the opacity and bring that down a little bit. So if I do a quick preview, you can see the dust particles are starting to blend into the environment. Moving on. Check out some of the uh, anamorphic flares. Hit play, get a little preview, go to my download, just remember where my playhead is, and I'm going to download the uh, 4K. You can see it's on top of the shots. Because this is anamorphic, I'm just going to want to scale this out a little bit. And again, just change the blending mode. Add works well with flares. You can mess around. Bring the opacity down. And trim this out so it's sitting on top of my first shot here. And this is going to be the pattern you usually take with uh, all the elements inside uh, Cine Punch. 
It's just really about blending modes here. And moving on. I'm do a nice little uh, light transition from my light drops pack. Play that. That looks good. So this is slow, but I can speed this shot up in post. So I'm going to download this shot. Again, I'm going to start it at this point in my timeline. And you're going to see also in this case, it's going to create a whole new track for me. Now, if I hit the letter R on my keyboard, that's going to be a shortcut to change the rate speed. Now, if I just roll this shot, you can see that it's going to decrease the time. So it's going to make this element a lot faster. And I'm just going to add a dissolve to the beginning and to the end of the shot. So it just kind of starts and just kind of dissolves over to the next. Now, a final note, the CinePack extension does require internet. Okay, because it is calling to the Vimeo catalog in order to play and download all the elements. And of course, the faster your internet, the better you're going to be able to preview, the faster your element's going to download, especially at high resolutions. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the new free extension from CinePunch. Enjoy. Enjoy.